everybody. Whoa. See, we're malfunctions. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, good morning. How is everybody? You like my lashes? Found these glasses as I was cleaning my makeup room, and I was like, oh, I'm going to put them on today. <laughs> so, all right, anyway. Um,. Just got out of the shower. I washed my face. I'm gonna let my hair dry instead of doing all the other stuff I typically do before going online. Um, but I wanna show you a couple quick things. So you're gonna watch my hair go crazy because I have nothing in it. Um, but this is the natural, right? Before I put makeup on. Okay, so a couple quick things. <coughs> I'm going to spray rose water on my face. Tones your face, smells really amazing. I love it, I go through it like crazy. Um, all right, hopefully this camera is going to be okay today. All right, so a couple of new things that I got. Um, I got these about a week ago, but I wanted to show you all. Um, I bought a bunch of these because I got a great deal on them. So whenever you get something from me or buy something from me, I'm gonna mail you one of these. It's just kind of like a free kind of thanks. So they have lipstick on them. They have little eyelashes, and you get to pick whichever you want. This one says I'm an artist. These are my tools. Um, contents, my face. I like this one. Wing it, life, eyeliner, everything. Um, live, love, lipstick. Um, never ready in five minutes. Nope, never. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm never ready in five minutes. Harley is always like, are you ready yet? No. Uh, brow game, brow lives matter, remember? Um, did not wake up like this, exactly. And then the last one is just a bunch of lips. So, um, these are some cute little bags. Um, so I will be doing, um, for customers, um, giving them a bag to go with their products so they have something to put them in. Unless you buy the collection, which is really cool too, then you get your own bag. All right, so there's that. And then I got a couple cool um, colors in. This one is called Opportunics. Blah, 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 blah. It's one of the newer colors. So dark that is. I like it though. So pretty. Very pretty. And then this one is loaded. Some of these aren't new. I just got them in because they're new to me. This one's really pretty too. That one's called Loaded. And then this one is called Top Notch. So this one to give you guys an idea of what they look like, different colors. This one is Top Notch. It's red. Looks red. Yeah. Like a red orange. It's actually like really pretty. So there's that. Whew. I'm gonna turn my fan on real quick because it's hot in here. The weather here has been crazy. It's been like 50s, 60s, 70s, and you're not ready for it. So, okay, there's some of the lipsticks that I just got in the mail. And then, I'll put those over there. I got some new splurge creams, which if you've watched my videos before, you know that my favorite thing really out of unique, one of my favorite is the splurge creams. This is Amused. So, give you an idea of what it looks like. See? Pretty cool, huh? They're really pretty and then they dry to a matte finish so that's even nice because once they're dry then um, you can blend them in and then add other colors if you want and then this one is called extravagant Let's see what this one looks like oh that's pretty i'll show you on my hand what this one looks like and they're very spongy they're so i just love them oh that's pretty that's very pretty you see that one? That's extravagant. Extravagant. I don't know why I'm putting them back in the box. 
And then this one's called Drainy. This one I wasn't real sure about. I'm like, I've seen somebody else use it, and I'm like, ooh, that'd be very pretty. So it's kind of like a silvery kind of, I don't know, it's just very pretty. And it takes like nothing. So those are the couple things I got in, um, just to give you an idea. Those six and then the splurge creams. All right, so let's get started. I have really no idea what I'm doing today, um, but I wanted to hop on here. I am gonna do the Flawless Four, of course, um, and then we'll show you some of the lip glosses I got in. So we need to, I have done like nothing but wash my face. So let's, um, Put some moisturizer on. We already did our rose water. Um, so let's do that. I'm gonna need new. This is called Daily Hydrating Day Cream. Um, and it has sunproof in it. Sun, yeah, sunscreen in it, sunproof. I'll just put a little couple dots on here, which I'm running out. Maybe get some more. I keep forgetting every time I make an order to do that, right? And sometimes I use the um, night cream during the day just because sometimes my face is so dry from good old Illinois, I have to use more. And then today I'm like, you know, you don't really pay attention to how long your hair is getting. And then today I realized, holy moly, it is getting long. Especially because it's curly, so it just curls up, so I don't pay much mind to it. Wow, it's getting so long. Okay, now I'm going to use the Instant Lifting Eye Serum. I always have to read it because I always want one is kind of um, sounds like the other one. They do completely different things. This kind of helps with the under your eyes. Helps with those. Um, to pull bags in. That is such a bad way to put it. Also wrinkles. It's just lifting everything. And you always want to use like this finger because this finger won't hurt. When you're using this, you're really digging at it. This one will not. Doesn't put as much pressure. No idea why I can't talk today. Maybe too much coffee. <laughs> coughing like crazy. I think it's the weather changing again, yet again. Okay. Now today I am going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to use a bowl and I'm going to use my um, foundation and I'm going to use my BB Flawless. I want to put both of them together. I want to see what it looks like on my face. Uh, a lot of people do that because it has extra moisturizer in it and add extra primer or it has primer in it. Just kind of gives you that little extra boost. So I want to see what it does to my face. I'm just going to mix them together. So you got to put on your primer first because you want for it to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. And you do not want anything on your face. You want it, something to put a barrier between your face and your makeup. So you use your primer. So if you bought the Flawless 4, then you are covered. I don't know why my face is so blotchy today. Who knows? The hair starting already to get crazy. See? Because it's so curly. And I put absolutely nothing in it today. I thought, eh, we'll do a all natural day. Okay, I'm trying to get it out of the way a little bit. All right, and okay, so we've got our primer on. I'm gonna shake this up. Now remember, you need to um, empty out the dropper. Oh, there you go. So you can see you want all that product out of there because you want it to shake with the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do just as many, I'm gonna do like four, maybe five drops. And I'll show you here in a minute. So one, two, might be just a little bit more than that. But I wanna try this, because I wanna see. So 
might be too much, but you know what? We're just going to give it a shot. Oh, this is a sticker from one of the mineral things. It kind of looks like that. See? Foundation, liquid, BB, BB cream. So I'm going to take the end of my thing and I'm just going to mix it around. Now, I've also seen people put concealer in here. Oh, I use new product. Let's just wipe this on our face. And I'm going to take the foundation brush, liquid foundation brush. When you put the drops on it, I'm just going to kind of dip it in here. Like that. And like I said, I probably used way, way too much, but it's okay. Actually, maybe not because my face is not doing too great today. It's very red. just because I got a lot on it. I'm always a person that does extra. <laughs> and I don't mean to, it just happens. Let me make sure you get all in there. You see? Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a second. So then it dries to a powder finish. And next time I definitely will use less. So this is Organza. So it's one step um, from the lightest color. So I used Organza liquid foundation and then I used BB Flawless and Bisque which I could probably use BB Flawless in the one of the lighter colors they have as well. Okay? So if you miss any spots, just kind of go back over them. See? Not bad. I think I'll have to play with that a little more. I'm going to find it. And start exfoliating my lips. <laughs> so see, exfoliate them. Get all that stuff off there. Probably did not leave it on way long enough. You know, I'm gonna put more on. And just let it sit. Wow, I actually do like that color. I like that coverage that it gives. Plus, it adds more moisture. Cause um, the BB cream, if I don't know if I said it or not, but is a um, tinted moisturizer. So then you get that flawless in there. Heck yeah. I got my colors on my hands. <laughs> okay. So I'm running upward. Let's see. What are we going to do today? You know what? Let's use one of our new. Who knows how it's going to turn out? Because I just never know. Because um, I try not to do a whole lot not videoing so you guys can see what it looks like. What did I do with that? I'm trying to be amused. 
Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. You know, the one I've been wanting to look at is this um, pigment color. It's called Provoked. It's really pretty. I may have already used it once. I think you can see that. Okay. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and put eye primer on just because. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Alright, so you use very, 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 very little eye primer. And you mix it with both hands. Put it on one eye. Or both fingers, I guess. And then do it on the other eye. And that's all you need. I do like that. So I use, like I said, the foundation, liquid foundation, and the um, BB Flawless together. So I put it in a little bowl, wipe it all over my face, and I'm really, really, really digging it. Really like it. Maybe my new fun thing, my new thing. So, okay. Now, what do I want to do? I'm a hot mess today. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm just so excited about so many new things. Um... Let's do our eyebrows, okay? Let's do, let me find it. We're gonna do the Brow Obsession Palette, okay? Ooh, hair's way really starting to get crazy now. Okay. So what I do is I use this side of it. There's two sides. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of like a, my guys things not going well today. Um, oh, what's it called? Like an angle, cannot think of the word angle. And then this one's just flat. So I'm gonna use the angle and I'm gonna go in my eyebrow with some dark and then go lighter. So here's the palette right here. All right, first I'm lying. We need to do wax first because I want to have that dark, make sure it attaches to it and stays there. So like that, there's the wax. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the dark. The brows take a minute to do. I mean, you can use our brow gel or even the brow pencil and do them pretty quick. Um, this doesn't take long, maybe a couple minutes. But sometimes you just gotta kinda play with them, especially when you get better at it, then yeah, heck yeah. Just come down like so. Like that. And then I'm gonna brush off a little bit and then I'm gonna take the lighter color right there. It actually is called number one, but I put it right here in the back. I'm gonna follow through with it with the dark. Because you want that arch to be your like wow factor. See? Not bad. So then we'll go back over onto this one. And we're going to put the wax in there because we want to make sure that it holds it. It does, I just like the extra precaution. That extra precaution, I take extra precautions. Oh, wow. Hot mess today, hot mess. And this is the eyebrow that I always have to mess with. It's not, it's just not like this one. This one's like very easy to do. The other one's not so much. So you take your time. Practice makes perfect. And then I'm gonna take the light again and go down into the eyebrow. So I like to run it through kind of so it all kind of blends together. Like so. And then I'm gonna take the wax and I'm gonna go back over them again. Just to make sure they're all there. You see? It's very easy to do. This is very easy to do.
Then we've got highlighters. So you can take the pink highlighter you can go under to kind of do a highlight, clean it up. Okay. And then you can use the other side and you can go above it. So you really clean the eyebrow up. So see? Easy peasy. And then the other one do the same exact thing. You're just cleaning them up and you add a little while to them. like that eyebrow needs a little more oomph. So there's that. Looks like a little darker on one side than the other side. I'm just gonna try to clean that up. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Boy, it's so weird not seeing with curly hair. <laughs> okay. So, there's the brow palette. All right, now, what to do, what to do, what to do, what time is it? Okay, it's only 9.40, we're still good to go. All right, um, I really don't know what I want to do today. I'm just gonna throw away one. I am first going to do Victorious. It's kind of like a base coat you can do. It's like a neutral coat. Um, I like to put it on my eyes just to kind of start. And I'm going to try to do this more and more and more. And this also you can use for, you can put it under your eyes for any kind of dark circles. You can put it on um, kind of blemishes you have. It's amazing stuff. You see, just kind of like a base coat. Um, let's see, where's my eyes? brush okay so if you're buying or if you're ever getting the storage prep brushes you need to get this brush um, this works amazing with the splurge frames so I'm actually going to do the amuse today let's see how that looks you don't need a lot I do need a mirror we use our brow mirror so I'm just gonna put it right here on the lid and then I'm gonna blend it out So it's like a bluish kind of, I don't know, like a teal kind of color. Maybe not teal, maybe. So there's that. Let's try the other one. So then it'll dry, like I said, to a powder finish. cooperates way more than the other eye. <laughs> so let's wait for that to dry. You always want to make sure when you have your splurge creams that you make sure you get the cap on very tight because you do not want them to dry out. So there you go. So there's that. You give it a few seconds and then like I said these are blendable. So you just want to blend it out once it dries. So weird that I haven't seen her on anybody get on. I'm probably like banned from Facebook or something, I just don't know it. So we'll give a few minutes. Alright, why do I keep putting the mirror down? I'm telling you today it was just today. That's a pretty color. 
They have pretty color. This would be something that I think I would put with other colors. So you're just going to blend it out because like I said, they go on creamy, but then they dry to a powder finish. So you could do something like that and then we could pull out a palette hold on and add some stuff to it let's do that and what palette do we want to do today no not out to not today let's do palette four and we're gonna do brave I want to see what that looks like in there. Um, in the crease, it's that darker color right there. So if it's very pigmented, you always want to tap the brush off. So then we're just going to kind of dab and then go in. So then you can kind of come in here a little bit. Want to keep blending so it becomes what you want it to be. Okay. Mm, okay. I'm gonna tap it off, we're gonna do the other side. So I always do like a little dot. And then I bring it over. You can bring it in a little bit. And then you just sit there and blend it out until it's something that you think that you like. Which I'm liking this. See? You know why? It's just something different. I'm trying to really get into doing different things. So it's just something different. So I kind of want that to come in right there a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of pull the eyeshadow that I have in that corner kind of over. You just keep blending it until it's what you want. So this is a crease brush. So this goes right into your crease. Whoa. Get a little crazy looking here today. I'm going to bring that over a little more. So I don't need really any more eyeshadow because I can pull it over. I'm just gonna blend and blend and blend and blend. And if you wanted to add more, you could. So then, then you have that victorious, like right up here. To kind of give you the highlighting plus the brow palette we had the highlighter in. Highlighting. And just kind of said blend until you get exactly what you want. And it takes time. Like I still have no flipping clue what I'm doing. I actually just play around. Try to figure it out. Okay. So I'm going to leave that for right now because I've been known to go, oh, let me add, and then it's horrible when I start adding. 
other things that I think, oh yeah, until I kind of let it settle for a minute. And then I decide what I should do. Blend there for a minute. So there's that. So you got the blue, which is the um, dreamy, no, amused, like right in there. It's the Splurge Cream Shadow. And then you see that I waited, I blended it out, and then I used the number four palette and I used Brave in the crease. So And I can always go back in and add more of the um, splurge cream um, to give it more of a pop. So I'm going to leave it, like I said, for right now. And I'm going to do my mascara. This is a 3D fiber mascara. Everyone should have this, at least one of these. Um, and I actually have six of them that I'm more than happy to sell. And you get a cool little bag with them if you didn't see the bag look in the beginning. Okay, so 3D fiber, blah, 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 blah. 3D fiber mascara. So here's that. Here's your lashes or your fibers. All right. So I gotta kind of look in the mirror for a minute until I start getting the jello on. I'm only going to do one side for right this second because I want you to see the huge difference. So that is just with the gel on. So I have a couple ladies that have long eyelashes. They are so lucky. Um, they only have to use the gel, um, but they have told me that, you know, like going out, they will use, um, the fibers just to even make them a little bit longer. So I was watching this video yesterday with this girl doing hers and I watch her a lot. She's really funny and, uh. I was watching how she does her 3D mascara. I was like, what? So there's the transplitting gel. And then we're gonna take our fibers. And usually I roll them on my hand, but I have lipstick. So I'm gonna kind of roll it on my palm today because we don't want lipstick on our eyes. So you roll them. And then you just get one of your lashes. Usually go like mid lash up. I'm getting hair in my mouth. And this does take practice. It is, I mean, well, I don't know. First time I ever got them, my girlfriend came over and I was like, check these out. That's where I even became a consultant. And she just flung those suckers on like, no problem. I'm like, Dang, you're good. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna take our blow dryer and we're going to dry them. And curl them at the same time. So there's that and that's just that's well I did a couple coats of the mascara you can only do one coat but it's only one of the fibers so then you're gonna take your um, transplant gel and you're gonna go back over it because you want to lock all those in so a couple reasons you do the blow dryer trick is to lock in those fibers make sure that if there's any flyaways they go away second 
they help um, if anything's on your cheeks because they do come, they do when you're putting them on sometimes, you get down on your cheek or around here, what have you. So then you blow dry and get them off. Third thing, if you're like me, my eyelashes sometimes don't want to um, curl. So it helps to curl. So all I'm doing right now is locking in those fibers. So they don't go anywhere. You see? Now I got some on my eye, right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm going to um, take this brush or sometimes I take the um, foundation brush and I'm just going to wipe it away. So there's that. Not bad. I like them. So then, look at that. That's just one. Like really, I mean, I was, I know I was doing mascara a lot, but then you can go and you can go back and do it all over again and just keep going until you get the lashes that you want. Not bad. So then you go down, and this is where I always, always, always get it on my cheek. Try not to be scared of it. I think that was my problem. Sometimes it still is. I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess up. But here's the thing. If you mess up, who cares? Just go back over it with whatever you were working with or foundation or what have you. And that's my thing is I think I get scared. You see? And I got it on my cheek or like under my eye. So the other thing with the Flawless 4, I'm just going to leave it one eye right in a second because I'm going to talk to you for a second. Yeah, the Flawless 4 is you can use like I've used in the past. I wait for it to dry and then I use this brush because it goes right under your eye. It's flipping perfect. Um, but you get this Flawless 4 for $99, okay? So you get this, you get whatever color that you want in liquid foundation. I did not use the concealer today. Um, I actually kind of forgot, <laughs> so I did not use it today. Um, and you get... Why did I hit just brain? Brush, brush. Oh, primer. No. So then you get your primer as well. So you get all four of these for $99. Um, so this is typically $39. So it's like getting this for free. So you do not want to miss out on this this month. Because I had people last year um, say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Blah. Nope. They didn't get it. And they lost out on it. And then they had to pay more. So I don't want you guys to have to do that. So buy the Flawless 4. And I'm gonna give you a bag, so why not, right? Okay, this hair is getting really crazy. <coughs> okay, so like I said, wait for this to dry. Let me go back over it. Cause I was working with this. So see, bam, gone. And then you can use your liquid foundation brush and I go right under my eye and it takes it right away all right enough is enough we're gonna have to pull this hair back for a few minutes it's getting a little crazy and then we're gonna do the other eye okay so let's do the other eye so you use your plans transplanting gel On your lashes. And just take your time. You don't have to rush through it. Like when I first did the the uh, three fiber lashes, I was like, nope, not gonna happen. Can't do it, can't figure it out. And then I would go back to the one I was using before and I'd be like, I just don't like these. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. It takes too much time. And it, it at first, you just got to take your time. I still take my time because I want them to look awesome. And then I would go back and forth. And then finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to learn this. It cannot be that hard. I watched my friend do it. She did a couple swipes. She's good to go.
So you just want to make sure that you're coating them well because you want the fibers to stick and you want to make sure you have all of your eyelashes. See, there's that. Now we're going to do the fibers. Roll them on your hand. You have to keep rolling them on your hand. Do that. And then you put them on. See, sometimes you have to go back and roll them again. And we go and do the glitter. And there you have it. I'm going to go back. We're going to do the plant transplanting gel. We're going to make sure we put enough coats on them to lock in those fibers. More mascara. I'm not almost at my end. I have my niece and nephew coming over today. Nephews coming over today. So when I know I can lose time, and I can't, you can't, you do a Facebook Live, you don't have the time on it. So. And I usually don't put the fibers on the back side. I think I've only put the fibers on it and on the bottom like maybe once or twice. So I do that. Woo! Hot mess, I'm telling you. So see, I'm liking that a lot more. The eyeshadow. See? And look at them lashes. I mean, my goodness. That didn't take very long. It just takes time. So I always make sure I give myself time to do them. Oh, I'm only doing this because contacts tend to just drive me crazy. I should probably just go have that surgery to call it a day. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. I'm actually going to wipe these, wipe these lipsticks off. It takes a minute. Um, I had my shine wipes, which I don't have a clue where they're at right now. All right. So now I'm going to put some eyeliner on. I think I'm just going to use something very, very, very. Let's see, what is this color? Curious. Let's try that. No clue. I think it's like a bluish. Oh, yeah, it's a dark blue. See, it's hard to tell. I'm going to just barely put it on. My lash line, or my, not my lash line. We all think Definitely made them blues pop, huh? So I'm gonna go back under here and get this mascara that I decided to throw on my face like I do every time I do it. Because if I didn't, it wouldn't be me. I really like how that all turned out. It's really pretty. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Let's put some bronzer on. You do a three and an E to cover where you need it. You see? And then I think I'm going to, let's see. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Yeah. 
I always do that one. What's this one? Pompous is going to be very, eh, maybe not too bad. Pompous, let's do pompous for lips. Why not? So I always do a cross right in the middle, like that. to color them in. You need to sharpen it. I love, 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 love using lip liners as lipsticks. Okay, I love that. Love it. All right, here. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. I think I'm straight. So I was letting it kind of like dry out. Okay. And then I'm gonna throw on some lip gloss. And I think I'm gonna throw on Lunar. you all today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please get a hold of me. You can find all these products at my um, website, which is lovethoselooks.com. Um, and it's been fun hanging out. So, um, and please follow me or share. That always helps me with my business um, for other people to watch. And if, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. All right. Well, thanks. Bye.